120 green double blinker. I moved the end of the blue wire from the R point to the G point on the light tunnel and now only the green LEDs come on. The color LED seems a little bit dimmer now. The green LEDs use more energy so there's not as much to go through the color LED. Now for project 121 blue double blinker I will move the end of the blue jumper wire to point B on the light tunnel and now only the blue LEDs light up. The color LED seems even dimmer. Well you can see the blue LEDs fairly well if you're in a dark area. For 122 multi double blinker you can move the end the other end you move the end of the jumper wire for project 122 multi double blinker you can move the end of the blue jumper wire from point B to point A which is here now the LEDs are incredibly dim and you may not be able to view them at all. You'll need fresh batteries to do so. They do not light up. For project 123, we can use, they say use all the preceding projects starting in, at 119, but replace the color LED with the white one. Now the color, now the LEDs seem more dim because the white LED is brighter and it's using more energy. Project 124, red, green, blue, sound. We have the horn inserted and when we turn on the slide switch, turn down your volume, the horn sounds and only the red LEDs of the light tunnel come on. We can then move the end of the blue jumper wire to points J and B and compare the, la the volume of the horn. You may notice that with the green and blue LEDs on, the horn is quieter than with the red LEDs because the red LEDs use the least energy of the three different colors. For best effects, use new batteries and dim the room lights. Project 125. Loud, multicolor sound. Turn on the slide switch. Volume warning. The light tunnel turns on and produces a show, and the horn may sound a little weird. It may appear that whenever the all the LEDs in the light tunnel are off, so is the horn. That's because the LEDs are controlling the current flowing through the horn. Also, the horn is louder in this project than in the previous one because the current is amplified by the NPN transistor. The color LED is intentionally installed backwards the other way and it will not light. 126. Loud multi multi color sound. Now I was not able to really get this project to work but the basic principle would be to place the white LED on level 4 of the circuit using a one snap wire and it is supposed to come on whenever the LEDs on the light tunnel are off but it does not. I'm just going to quickly turn it on. It's going to be loud. Nothing happens even when the light tunnel LEDs are off, so I'm not sure why that is. Maybe there's not enough power. These batteries are not the freshest, so I would assume that's why the white LED never comes on in this circuit. 
Project 127, Blue Blinking Fun. Using this circuit and turning on the slide switch, we will notice that all the LEDs of the light tunnel come on, but the blue ones flash while the red and green ones stay on continuously. That is because of how I wired the light tunnel in this circuit. You can control each of the color sets of LEDs individually or together in a preset changing pattern. Similarly for project 128, when I remove this two-step wire from point G to point B, the, only the green LEDs will be blinking. For project 129, red blinking fine, I will move this two snap wire over here. Now only the red LEDs will flash.